Hey everybody, Mary Caps here, Mary on the Move from MySouthernIndiana.com. Welcome to my live Facebook where I highlight businesses, nonprofits, and happenings around our area. Today I'm here in, I'm on the line in Jeffersonville and Clarksville off Stansford Avenue at Serenity House. This is a nonprofit organization that has been here for 24 years. Well, no, actually, You've worked here for 24 yeah, years, so. but they've been here since 1974. And I'm here with the director, Mick McFarlane. I'd like to introduce you to him. Mick, thanks for joining me. Well, thank you, Mary. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, and can you tell us a little bit about uh, Serenity House? Well, Serenity House was uh, started in 1974, and it's a, 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 for alcoholic drug addiction, and it's for male alcoholics, and they come here and they live here for three to 12 months. Mm -hmm. And we try to teach them how to live without drugs and alcohol now. Uh, we're not a treatment center. We are what's called a halfway house halfway or halfway house. back in society. And they still got a structure behind them. And they have to work here. They mm -hmm. have to work a full-time job. The rent is 95 a week. That okay. includes laundry facility, linen service, food, and everything. Okay. They have to do chores. They have mm -hmm. to... Uh, uh, get out and be responsible. Sure. They have to learn how to pay taxes, how to ah. pay child support, how to pay for their own way, really, and become sure. a better better father, son, whatever. Right. And you have about five classes We have uh, a week or We a day. have meetings here. There, it's the, called the Support Center, mm -hmm. and uh, there's about five AA and, and uh, Narcotics Anonymous. We have Al-Anon. We have al -Ateen. We have... Uh, now we got Overeaters Anonymous, ha. and we have uh, some gay groups now. So uh, we're kind of getting any kind of twelve-step program we could get to teach it's these wonderful. guys how to live without drugs and alcohol is the main thing. It, in my opinion, it takes we have to change their way of thinking. Yes. If we don't change their way of thinking, they go right back out doing the same thing over and over and over. And so I, I feel like we also have to show them how to live and be happy, joyous, and free. Sure. And that takes a lot of time. Oh, it sure and, does. Uh, so we're we're really uh, happy about the place. We we've uh, we went from eight men to forty eight beds now. And wow. We could probably fill another one now. We serve just about any county at yeah. all. A lot of our people come from courts and come from prisons and sure. jails because their addiction. They don't learn anything in jail and prisons anyway. Mm -hmm. So uh, we I've even had calls from. Nebraska, Florida, wow. and different places, so we're, we're pretty well known. I and, uh, guess. Well, it's a long time. I'm really time. proud of the Serenity House and the guys that have helped me, and, and we just get the job done. And uh, you've got a building going up next door here. Yes. That's, you tell uh, us about that. That's our support center, and uh, it's going to be a meeting hall. It's a giant meeting hall. One room will hold 500 people. We have awesome. three smaller rooms hold 125 apiece. We feel we can get just about any kind of 12-step program or anything that has to do with drug addiction. Sure. We're we are working a little bit with the VOA. They're going to try to help us get insurance for guys so they can come over and get counseling. And it's and, for women, too. And it's for women also, yes. And uh, we looked at maybe having, like, the needle exchange program, stuff like oh. that. Anything that we can do to, sure. to fight alcohol and drug addiction because heroin's an epidemic. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's I, we're just it's just a battle. And you're only they're only a quarter of the way done in this building, so we would have went over there. But I think you said there's dirt <laughs> floors right now, so it's going to be an awesome facility. And they have a few small grants, but they are really needing to raise some funds some, for yes, this building. Uh, yes. we get so a lot they have of, a ways to go. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. We get a lot of smaller grants for operations here, like like from the Horseshoe Foundation yes. in Floyd County and Harrison County and Gaines Foundation. And there's others, and the community helps us. We don't get any federal or state funding at all right. for operations. Uh, they are help trying to help us to get the mm -hmm. building finished, but here again... If we're not a treatment center, they kind of yeah. put us on the back burner a little bit. And this is probably one of the most important things that Southern Indiana could get oh. for this building. Oh, definitely. It looks wonderful. And so it's going to be a real compliment to the Serenity House here. And it's so needed. So like he said, they have a few grants. But since they're not a treatment center, they are really looking for donations. And they are very thankful 
to uh, the Floyd and Harrison County Horseshoe Foundation and Gaines Foundation, but they are really looking to raise those foundation, uh, raise from some fundraising. So if you would like to give some funds uh, to this organization, it would be very well appreciated. And you can reach out to them on their Facebook page, which is... You don't have it on your brochure. Okay. What was it again? It's SerenityHalfwayHouse.com. SerenityHalfwayHouse.com. And they are busily working to get a Facebook page up, so that'll be coming up also. We'll be putting this video on there as well, giving that a shout-out again. If you would like to reach out to Serenity House, you can call Mick. He will take care of you here. And Absolutely. they were, uh, again, they're busily trying to raise those funds. So thanks again for tuning in. So glad you joined me today here at the nonprofit Serenity House. This has been Mary Caps, Mary on the Move for MySouthernIndiana.com, and I'll catch you next time.